Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco Ho! and welcome to my channel. In the last video I made I showed you the RX 7900 XTX running with FSR4 or in this case FSR4 running on the RX 7900 XTX. Well, it happens that some people in the comment section were telling me that I was doing some mistakes. They were basically telling me that I didn't have these lines. So I needed to have the FP8 tag line in order to enable FP8. So even with the, with the RDNA 4 cards on Linux I need to enable this one in order for FP8 to work, otherwise FSR4 will be much slower than FSR3 and I need this this one as well with a WMMA RDNA3 workaround in order to make FSR4 working properly. Because I don't really know if you remember but in the last video I tested the performance mode and balance modes and so on and in terms of quality they didn't really work well, only the quality mode and this is because of it because I forgot about this. And again I'm sorry for still not releasing the tutorial of how to install uh, FSR 4 on RDNA 3 cards, especially on Linux, sorry, I will try to release it tomorrow, the reason I didn't was because of this, because I needed to test this a bit more in order to make a new video for you guys to see that it works correctly now, and, and yeah, I will release the, the tutorial tomorrow, so don't worry. As for the processes, after you, you just have this file, copy it to the System32 folder of each game and so on, that will be in the tutorial, but I'll give you an example, this is the FSR4 upgrade only command, so no more of the FP8 act that we actually need. And by the way, the, the recording that you see, the, um, the, the frame time is because I'm recording with OBS, that's what's happening. But in terms of FPS, as you can see, so let me show you the settings, it is 4K and we are running FSR4 performance and of course it is the 9060 XT. But don't worry, I'll show you the 7900 XT running as well. This is FSR4 performance, as you can see, no frame generation whatsoever, 4142 FPS. And just by the way, as usual, if you want to help the channel, lay an eye on today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. 41, 42 FPS. And this is running FSR4 and it runs nice, quality wise it runs nice, but it isn't using FP8 instructions, it is basically using only FP16, which is much slower and again around 40 FPS, 41, 42. And now we go to the launch options and add the new command line with the FP8 attack. We're still running AMD FSR4 performance mode, still the same settings, high settings, nothing changed, really nothing besides the new FP8 attack code. And as you can see now, we went from 40 something to 56, 57 because we're using FP8. So this is one of the mistakes that I made. I didn't enable this code and that's exactly why we were losing performance in, in some titles. We still lose performance comparing FSR3 to FSR4, of course, but not like we did in the previous video. And I was almost swearing that it was because of Vulcan and no, it was actually my fault. It was because I wasn't adding these command lines. My fault, I am sorry. And now when running the medium, which is one of the games that I tested in the, in the previous video I made, we have 3.1 and we have 80 FPS. As soon as I go to FSR4, we have 47, 45, 47 only. So going to 3.1 and we have 80, around 80, going to FSR4, we have 47, not even 50 FPS. But now we go to the properties, to the launch options, we also have the command line of the FP8 hack, and now we're back at around 80 FPS with FSR 3.1.3, around that, more or less, and as soon as we enable FSR4, we go to... 65 FPS. So instead of going to 50, we went to 65, 66 FPS, which is a huge increase when it comes when it comes to to performance. And by the way, if you want to look at quality, if you look at the face, at the character's face, as soon as we go to FSR 3.1.3, you can see that it is kind of a blurred out image quality. Um, the clarity isn't near as good as with FSR 4. As soon as we enable FSR 4, bam. The character's face just looks so much better overall, it's just a huge difference and of course with the FP8 attack we now use FP8 instructions and going from and we go from 50, around 50 to 65 FPS which is a huge difference considering this lower end card like the 9060 XT. 
But well, let's move to the 7900 XT now. So I just removed the RX 9060 XT and inserted the RX 7900 XT for you guys to see how FSR 4 works really, really with RDNA 3 because it, it works. And again, the performance impact was not due to Vulcan and so on. It was my fault. I forgot about some comments. And this is how I ran it last time with only the FSR 4 upgrade equals one comment. Starting without any kind of upscaling and we have around 38, 39 FPS. Again, the frame time spikes are is because I'm recording, of course. Oh, let me just get this out. Okie dokie. And we're having around, I would say, like 40 FPS. Yeah, 40 FPS here. Nothing really bad. As soon as we go to the quality mode, FSR 4 quality, we go from 40 to 40 to 50 FPS, so we don't really get much performance gains whatsoever. The performance gains are like really, really little. And we have some shimmering there, of course, and it seems that it, it works decently well, but not that great. As soon as I go to, to any lower setting, like FSR 4 performance, we immediately, we immediately start to have some shimmering and so on. We go to higher FPS, of course, but we start getting some shimmering. This is basically how it works. Not fine. Now, as soon as I go to the launch properties and I add the new code, in this case, the WMMA RDNA 3 workaround, this is the one that we need for RDNA 3 cards. Now, things are a bit different. So, in terms of normal quality, we still have around 40 FPS, so nothing really changed, no upscaling whatsoever. As soon as we go to FSR 4 quality, we're now going up to 50 FPS, which again is not a huge difference, but it is better than nothing. And on this side, it is basically the same, I would say, the same as we had before, nothing really new. But the difference is that as soon as we go to the performance mode, we don't have any kind of, of shimmering or jittering anymore. And now the, the performance renders normally and we go around 55, 56. And by the way, I, when, I wasn't, when I wasn't recording, I would have around uh, 60 FPS. Uh, we now have 55 or something because I'm recording with OBS, but the performance would go higher. Because in this case, since I'm recording, it is still around, so 60, 60 here. But uh, if I'm using the, the quality mode, for example, it is like 50. <laughs> so the performance increase isn't that great because again, the FP8 performance of this card of this card doesn't exist because this card doesn't really support FP8. So it has to use FP16 and FP16 is much slower. And that's why we don't really have a, such a performance increase. We can still have performance increase with FSR4. Again, we went from around 44 to 61, which is, well, a decent increase. Not that huge, but a different, a decent increase. But I don't really see the benefit of using it right now, especially since you have, for example, you can just go to XSS, let's say, or TSR. You can simply use TSR quality and we go to 61. So with TSR quality, we have the same performance as FSR4 performance mode because again, TSR quality doesn't use FP8 nor AI. We still have that issue with a uh, with blur that we have on the character's face on while moving, something that FSR4 does quite better. We have a clearer image. And by the way, the, the texture pop out is because I'm running on Linux. I don't really know what's going on. Um, or for example, we can use XSS. If we can go, for example, to XSS and we use the balanced mode, which is equivalent to the performance mode on FSR4, we go to the balanced mode and we go up to 80 or 90 FPS. So the difference is quite insane. Uh, we have 90 FPS with XSS balance, balanced, still 50% rendered quality. And with 50% render quality with FSR4, we only have around uh, 60, so the difference is big. Still in terms of quality, let me just see, so balanced, 50% with XSS. If you look, for example, at the, char at the character's helmet, you can see that while he's moving, we have kind of a blurred out image, FSR4 performance. The performance is definitely lower, but I immediately, as soon as I look at the, the character's armor or the character's spacesuit, 
it just looks much clearer. We can definitely notice a difference in terms of clarity when going FSR4 versus XCSS. But of course, FSR4 gives us 60 FPS while XCSS gives us over 80. So it is kind of a trade-off, a big trade-off in this case scenario. I would believe that in this case, I would go with something like TSR. TSR is kind of an in-between in this game. It's, it's actually decent. Not in all scenarios it is, but in this game it is actually decent and we have 86. But again, if you look at the backpack, as soon as the backpack start or the character starts moving, the backpack gets kind of blurred out. The lines in the back in the backpack get kind of blurred out. But as soon as we go to FSR4 performance, if you look at the lines, there is no more blur. The, blur. the blur is so little and in terms of clarity, the lining of the spacesuit is just much better. It's kind of a huge increase in terms of clarity, definitely. Definitely. And now I'm going to show you the same for the medium. We're just running with the launch options that we had before F of FSR4 upgrade equals one, and that's basically it. Again, we're using uh, we're using OptiScaler, and I don't really know for which reason, but OptiScaler in Vulkan when using RDNA3 doesn't really show the image when enabling OptiScaler. Something that works on the 96, the XD, as you saw before. But yeah, so we have FSR 3.1.3, 150 FPS, because this game runs pretty well, 150, as soon as I go to FSR 4, from 150 to 150, we can still see the FPS, to, let's see what we get, 150 to 75, we went to half the performance with FSR 4, which is just, it's just insane, and again, look at the rendering, the rendering is completely messed it isn't working at all it isn't working now we go to the launch options we add the extra code that we need in order to make the rendering work properly and we still have the same fps number so we still go to half the fps comparing fsr3 versus fsr4 we have half the fps which is insane going from 150 to 75 70 something but of course quality wise it is much better for example look at the character's face and now of course the um, the rendering works correctly, so FSR4 is working correctly with no shimmering, no whatsoever, it's working fine. For example, again, looking at the character's face, FSR 3.1.3, if you look at the character's face, we have a huge blur, no defined lines, no clarity whatsoever, and that's basically what FSR4 and the LSS4 Transformer models do the best. They add that clarity and they get rid of that motion blur for, from TAA. Again, look at the character's face, just one more time, and we have that little blur. As soon as we go to FSR4, quality-wise, even on RDNA3 is much better. So the quality is the same, or really, really close to the same with FSR4 on RDNA3, but the performance is just insane. We just went from 150 to 70 something FPS, which is not acceptable, not acceptable at all. But yeah, guys, just to tell you that it does work. Of course, the performance hit is insane. In some games like The Alters, the performance difference isn't that huge. But in this case scenario, in this game, uh, the medium going from FSR 3.1.3 to FSR 4.0, it, it kind of halves the FPS. You go from 150 to 75 around that. So is it really worth it? I don't think so. It is better to just run native because we're running the LSS performance, which is actually again FSR4 performance, and we're running 75 FPS. So I just can go and just disable the LSS at all, disable the upscaling at all, and I have 78 FPS. So, while in the alters we were using FSR4, and even in the quality mode we had better performance than native, in this game the medium, the medium I'm actually better running 4K native, because I have 78 FPS, and while enabling FSR4 performance mode I have 75, so I have less FPS with FSR4 performance mode compared to, to of course, uh, the native 4K, which is insane, but again, this is using OptiScaler and that might affect the performance and this is an older game. In a newer game like the Alters that can be just enabled without, without any need of, the, of using OptiScaler, we saw that even going from native to FSR4 quality increased the performance a bit. Not that much, but it did increase. And just to finalize, we're running Silent Hill 2, another messed up game. And by the way, we're running 4K native. And now all the coding is done properly from the beginning just to see how the performance goes, and of course we're running 4K native, 44 FPS. Things seem okay, I would say, 44 FPS. 
for native high settings, it's 4K and it's a 7900 XT. So yeah, as soon as we go to super sampling, we select FSR 3.1 that will now enable FSR 4 and we have 48, 45. So even on Silent Hill, even using the quality settings, we have we still have better than native quality. And if we go to FSR 4 performance mode, we can still get some performance out of it, I guess. So performance mode. The image quality is still pretty decent, to be honest, because again, it's FSR 4. Even in performance mode, it will add more clarity. Uh, as for the, um, the ghosting there on the leaves, it's still happening. It still happens with the LSS. This game is just a piece of garbage in that, in that department. But besides that, in terms of clarity, I have a really big monitor, a KDC G42P5, which is 42 inches, and I can see the details pretty well. And even in the performance mode, FSR4 does a wonderful job here in terms of clarity, looking at the grills, looking at the, the bricks, the, the, the brick wall, I mean, even in performance mode, it does a wonderful job. So if you still want to use FSR4 and you're running 4K, you can still use the, the, um, the FSR4 performance mode and the quality will be there. The quality is just great, even with RDNA 3 and you'll still get a bit of performance uplift. We went from 40 something to 60 FPS, which is not great, but it is, well, decent. And the, the performance will get even higher or a bit higher without recording. I'm recording and that takes away a bit of performance. Besides that, it works fine, it renders fine, the performance is quite good, even with performance mode. The quality is quite good with performance mode, that's what I meant, so yeah. In some games, in most recent games, you will most likely benefit, still benefit in terms of performance from using FSR4. And well guys, that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching, don't forget, the links for all these tutorials, these articles that you can do, or that you can read by yourself and try to make this, uh, the FSR4 work on RDNA 3 on Linux, you can just do it, the tutorials are in the description and in the pinned comment as well, the tutorials will be there and you can do, and you can just do a follow-up. Thank you very much for watching, if you want, the, I will try to bring the tutorial video tomorrow because now I know how things work properly and I know that things are working properly, so I'll just try to bring it tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. If you would still use FSR4, even if the performance gains weren't that much or not, just leave it in the comment section. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.